rather than a series of promotional events, the game matters most. Now, obviously, that's referring... Oh! Shit. everybody welcome back today guys to the channel need for speed the run i wanted to come back here today and talk about the brand new need for speed article that just dropped from the need for speed team now if you guys did miss this i will link this down below uh, but essentially we're going to go over this today and talk about some of the key points that i saw in here and some of my expectation and hopes for the new need for speed in 2019 it did confirm it will be out this year so that is a plus but i wanted to talk about this and relive need for speed the run you know with all the flack that need for speed has gotten the last two years with you know the physics and everything like that i'm hoping that they turn this thing around i got high hopes for the next need for speed this year ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching today and don't forget to slap that like button i think the intro i've gotten through but i guess i guess we're starting here stage one man west i don't believe we're going to see any of the first cutscene, but i wanted to discuss this article as i said i will leave it down below in the description box but um right there's a couple things that i wanted to talk about our first quote here says we are not here to look back and reminisce we got our eyes set firmly on the future but even while focusing on the future especially this year we've also thought a lot about what need for speed means to you and perhaps more importantly what we hope it will mean as we move forward so right they're kind of talking about we're not here to talk about the past but hopefully, I think they're going to maybe incorporate the past into the future, right? That's kind of why I'm thinking all eyes are pointing Need for Speed Underground 3, man. Is it just me? Am I the only one that wants an Underground 3 out here, right? I mean, that was really what I thought was the peak of Need for Speed. And we are starting here from the beginning on the game. Okay, that's fine. But I'd love to know down below, right? I mean, where do you think need for speed kind of fell off now i saw a comment here he thought uh, perhaps you should look back and realize what you once did right and where it all went downhill afterwards and he linked most wanted 2005 just remaster this without adding any additional loot boxes and watch the profits roll in you open world multiplayer aspect to it that is it period that is definitely what a lot of people would like to see I miss this game though. I know I played it a little while ago on the wheel, uh, but right, it's nice to just come back on the controller and just wish it was long. That was the only thing. Uh, I think we have to uh, push some buttons here, but right, they don't make the games anymore like this. I wish we had cutscenes like this, in-game engine cutscenes, not, you know, the kind of over the top where you actually can, oh my God, I gotta escape. Oh, no, I'm hitting the wrong button. What the hell's happening? I'm gonna die, aren't I? My buttons aren't working on the controller. I'm gonna die. Yep. Uh, hold on. I'm unplugging. Plugging. Does that work? I'm. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm. No idea why that's not working. We're gonna go to the challenge series at least and be able to drive some of these vehicles. Uh, limited edition. All unlocked. We have all these unlocked too, actually. Oh, old spice. The carbon challenge. Look at all of them all. Look at them all. Underground, we get to relive these games. Okay, let's go underground first and start it off from the bottom. But right, these were the old school days that I really remember and stand out to truly make the game what I really enjoyed today, right? That's kind of what sucked me into the entire Need for Speed vibe and, you know, the culture of the game. I don't remember it looking that ugly, though. I, why does it look like that? I have no idea. Let's get the mouse off the screen. I fell in love with the game very early. I do remember playing on PS1, but before the Underground hit, I don't know what else came before then that I really, truly loved. And the Underground series pulled in a lot of people to the game. On this article, it says, Cars naturally top the list. You could say that cars and customization of Need for Speed are the beating heart of what we do. Without either of these, Need for Speed fails to exist as we know it. These are two elements that play a pivotal role in the series and are two aspects foundational, meaning they aren't going anywhere because Need for Speed wouldn't exist without them. Now, to be honest with you, I do like that statement. I just missed the part where they mentioned the story mode, right? I mean, I know Need for Speed didn't really start with the story mode, but, you know, I feel like that's what really makes a great Need for Speed is the story mode, in my personal opinion. I'd love to see another story mode, and, you know, something like Need for Speed The Run has, and, you know, that's kind of why I wanted to play this today, for the story mode was to go back to it, and, oh, yep, 
to go back to it and uh, just kind of relive that story mode because you know I do miss that in-game engine for you know all of the cutscenes and everything like that. I'm not a huge fan of the live action ones whenever they put them in the motion capture. They did a great job for Carbon, but I think it kind of got out of hand with the new speeds. It just kind of went a different direction. I feel like, oh shit, than a lot of people were expecting it to. Um, I mean, again, that's just my personal opinion. We'd love to know yours down below, but. You know, as just a Need for Speed fan and, uh, you know, someone that's always going to play them, I just want to see the game go back to the roots. And obviously, if you look at the comments around the... Gee. Just as a fan of the Need for Speed franchise, I just want to see the game go back to the roots. Because obviously, right, I mean, you go through the comments, like I said, you see all these other games getting remasters and remakes, and, you know, everybody's screaming, Need for Speed Underground for a remaster and I just really hope that they do listen or you know they do incorporate and maybe move in to a Need for Speed Underground 3 and that's why I'm kind of you know pointing towards an Underground 3 is because I feel like you know that's the other option that they could go about this and you know just kind of instead of doing a Need for Speed 2019 they go to something different. So now this is another quote from the article here it says because traditions are all well and good but they can also be broken and new ones forged. Just because we've done something one way for the last few years doesn't mean we should continue to do so. Now that's why that's got me thinking, right? I mean, are they going to kind of, you know, stop the path that they've been doing with the brand new engine that they made and maybe remake a brand new engine and go back to the old school Need for Speed Underground 3 times, right? That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I think, you know, the smartest move would be in terms of a marketing perspective. You know, of course, everybody wants to see it. There's a lot of talk about it right now, and I think it would be a really cool thing, uh, you know, for the franchise, especially marking their 25th year in the uh, the series. 25 years, that's a big deal right now, and obviously, uh, you know, they want to make a bang, and that's kind of why they had decided to kind of delay any news on the game in terms of E3 and stuff like that, and they have decided uh, to just strictly work on the game, which is probably the best thing that they could have done. Another quote here that I wanted to pull, it says, Our goal is to deliver a truly memorable high-speed entry into the 25 years of Need for Speed, rather than a series of promotional events the game matters most. Now, obviously, that's referring... Oh! Shit. We gotta go Need for Speed Carbon, man. What a great game this one was. Cross. I hope we see Cross somehow come back. I mean, he was referenced in the last Need for Speed uh, that did come out, Payback. I do believe he was referenced. So, right, it would be pretty cool to see them make a new Need for Speed, including all of the old school characters that we know and love, right? I mean, I mean everybody. Everyone. Everyone! I'm saying Cross is a great character. He's probably, uh, you know, if not one of the most memorable characters from the Need for Speed franchise. I think him and I think Ryan Cooper, to be honest with you, man. Ryan Cooper stands out quite a bit. Let me know your thoughts down below, man. Two characters from the Need for Speed franchise. Who stands out the most here? I'd love to see them. Obviously, um, I'm trying to think of the names. Right, of course, you got Darius also. That's a big name. Um, oh, my God. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think right now. I can't think of the name. Oh, my goodness. Please leave some down below. I need to see them. We're in the winter. Against an R8 up here. This is Darius, actually, the driving. It's Jesus. I'm, I'm trying to think of the guy in the Mustang from Most Wanted. How did I forget that? Um, oh, he's right on me. We got some spray. 310 kilometers an hour in the winter. We got six kilometers here. The game is really playable on a keyboard, to be honest with you. I'm a fan of the physics. I like them. I just hope that the new Need for Speed gets some new physics, man. That's the biggest thing. Oh, shit. I've been so tired, right? I mean, they did a pretty good job with Payback, but it's still, right? It still has that same engine. It's playing off the same engine, and it's just been kind of reworked. And obviously, Need for Speed 2015, I feel, goes down as one of the worst physics handling uh, games that I've ever played. And I just died. Oh, my God. Yep. Wreck. No, you died. Look, we're off the cliff. So, Need for Speed, with that article coming out, uh, just kind of puts everything in line for the next couple of months just to know that we're not going to get any information uh, from here until after June. So definitely hold tight uh, because obviously I am very excited for this game to drop. I'm assuming it's going to be coming out maybe November-ish, right? I mean, that's kind of my guess on there. Maybe December, uh, you know, early December, right before Christmas time. But 
you know, in terms of games dropping, it's probably going to be November, September-ish to kind of compete uh, with whatever Forza is doing. You know, what is Forza doing this year? I don't think they're doing anything. That's sad. First year, we're not doing anything with Forza. That hit me right there, right? That's a sad day right there. Okay. 177 R. Oh, jeez. That's actually nice. I do like how the cars load pretty quickly. And the graphics. I'm not going to lie. I missed this game. I really did. I do want to get this uh, keyboard situation figured out so I can get the story mode done properly. Obviously, that was my main goal today. I wanted to do some of the story mode and have some fun, but that couldn't happen. Couldn't escape the car, man. I kept dying. <laughs> Holy shit, that's nice. Need for Speed Edition. We have everything unlocked. I do remember that. Oh, my God. There were so many good cars on this game. A traffic jam. What is this here? Speed wall. The road is clogged with traffic. Oh, shit. I didn't get to read the whole thing, man. What a throwback. Oh, shit. Speaking of the Super, I hope that the new Need for Speed... Oh, whoa. I forgot about... This. <clears throat> this Super is handling like rails right now, man. It feels like Need for Speed 2015 without feeling like it because it's so damn nice. If that even makes sense. Does that make sense? I'm pretty sure it does. Here we go. Oh, we're getting air with it. What are the cameras we got? Good view. Jesus, we're getting air. But I do like these mini games. Yep, yeah, thank you. It's been a common factor on a lot of these games that I'm coming back to that they have... Oh, yeah, what's this? That's... me dying right there. I, <laughs> I tried to go through it, man. I wanted... I thought... No, that's only in uh, the story mode you can change cars, no? It's been a common theme on a lot of these games that we're going back to that they have these mini games set up for you. And, you know, a lot of the newer games nowadays, they focus a lot on the graphics and just, you know, stuff like that. And you kind of get lost as to what is fun anymore, and, you know, just kind of doing the same thing. And, you know, these games kind of show you that, you know, back in the day, there was a lot of fun to these games. And, I mean, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I played these games growing up, so I can kind of see the difference of, you know, the factor of how long I'm staying interested in each game. And I feel like, you know, the interest level was way higher back in the day. Just way higher. You'd be playing these games, oh my, mm -hmm. I truly feel in my heart, though, they're going to do a Need for Speed Underground 3, man. It, it just points to it. But, however, though, we've seen things happen in the past where everybody wants something and it doesn't, right? Forza Horizon 4 Japan. We gotta remember, though, these games are built so far in advance that sometimes that, you know, these ideas don't come to surface in time. Skyline 2000 GTR. I think I gotta run this. But I'd love to know down below, what do you think the next Need for Speed is going to be called? Leave your answer down below. Um, I, I, I just feel Need for Speed Underground 3, right? It just makes sense. It's the right choice. Why are we driving this against everything else? Oh my god, we're not going to keep up, are we? Why did I choose this? I mean, maybe we can drift it a little bit? I'll try. Oh! Let's go on the keyboard! Oh. Well, that was pretty fun. Somehow I'm passing everybody. Oh, get out the way. Thank you. I needed to do that, otherwise I was dead. Not too sure how we're uh, keeping up with these guys, but I'm not going to ask any questions here. Shit. Oh, boy. Oh! That was pretty greasy. Where's my look back? Oh, there it is. Oh, my God! Ah. Uh, it's kind of not what I wanted to happen, and I'm, I'm in fifth gear still. All I care, though, I did see a tweet from Thrustmaster, and they said, cough, cough wheel support cough cough i'm really hoping that they are saying that they know something that we don't know and there's going to be wheel support right i really do hope that wheel support is in the game i really do i feel like uh you know if it is it'll be a huge step in the right direction for proper wheel support right the new need for speed that's not proper wheel support it just it doesn't really feel the greatest it's a little weird uh, you know certain buttons and stuff like that so i'd like to see some proper wheel support come on down and i mean like i said that's maybe why they're reworking their entire physics engine to allow wheel support in there right maybe that's why thrustmaster has kind of you know hinted at that without actually giving any information away i don't know imagine that though imagine if it does have a full wheel support brand new physics engine on the game that would make some waves man that definitely would with the customization that would be a force 
on the community, man. I'm excited, though, for any new information that does drop on Need for Speed 2019 or Underground 3, which I think it's going to be. Get up with me. Any new information regarding the newest Need for Speed, make sure you guys do stay subscribed. If you guys have not already, slap that like button down below. But I'm excited, though. The article kind of leads it to believe that, right, they're going to actually take some time this year and make a proper game and really focus on what we want. And obviously, that's customization and cars and hopefully story mode and physics, right? I think physics are definitely number one on there as well, too. I'm a little bit upset they didn't mention any physics on there, but they're trying to pave new ways, and hopefully that is what they're meaning in that sense, but we'd love to know your thoughts down below. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been tough on the keyboard, I'm not gonna lie, and he took the shortcut on me. Of course he did. We do have a few things lined up this weekend, so make sure you guys do stay locked on the channel. Thank you guys once again for watching. I'm Luke.